Hey there folks, what's up? This is Damien from Bubble X3O. Today. Oh, in today's 5 minute tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how you can add really cool animations to your bubble apps using Lottie files. Lottie files are a very popular way to add really cool animations to your website. It's open source, it's free, and it's very easy to use. Let's dive right in how to use it. The first things you need to do is head over to lottiefiles.com and create an account and then search for free animations. You can also just use the discover panel and see what's currently popular. I'm just going to go with this little jellyfish here. If you just want to embed the animation as is, open it, scroll down to use this animation in, select HTML, and then we just really quickly need to do a few adjustments. The first one is we want to set the height and width to a hundred percent each, because that's going to make our life easier when we embed it in a bubble page. We also want to uncheck the control so we don't see this little player thingy here. And then we get a snippet of code. We can just copy that, head over to our bubble editor, and I'm just going to get rid of everything here. We grab an HTML file, put it on the page, and just paste our code into here. Let's also put some layout options here. I want this to be 500 by 500 pixels. I want it to be centered. And I also want it to have 800 pixels margin from the top and a 100 pixels margin from the bottom. Okay. Cool. That's basically it. That's how we embed it. If you want to make this clickable, you can just group this in a group. I'm just going to go with a column here and then select the group and add a workflow to the group itself. I'm just going to go with a alert to see that it works. Put something random here. Okay. Let's preview this. Okay, cool. That works. We see the click also works. Let's see how we can customize our animations. If we go back to our file, we see that there's an option, edit layer colors. Let's click that. And I'm just going to go with something random here just to show you how it works. Okay, cool. So once this is done, there is two options on how to embed this custom file in your bubble app. One is upload it to Lottie, click upload it to Lottie, upload to my previews. This will give you a new tab where you get a asset link. Let's just copy this, head back to our bubble page, go to our HTML element. And actually let's take a second and see what's going on here. There's two things going on in our HTML. First, there is a script tag where we load a remote JavaScript file. This is basically the Lottie player that is used to play our animations. And then secondly, we place a Lottie player in our HTML element, which has a source from where it loads the file. We're just going to replace this with the thing we just created, going to save it. And we have our own custom animation right here. The second way, if you want to host directly on bubble, let's go back to our editor, export the Lottie as JSON. This will give us a download. Once we have downloaded that, we can go back to bubble, go to our settings, go to SEO meta tags and add a file here. I'm just going to call it Lotti one Upload the file. I just downloaded. Save it. Go to C. This actually gives us the URL of where it's saved on Amazon. I'm just going to copy the URL, go back to our bubble editor. And again, go to the HTML editor and replace the link to the JSON, we save it. Let's go back to preview and voila, we have our custom animation. We also can click it. That's it. If you like that, sign up to my newsletter, bubblehacks.io. See you soon.